Good morning, everybody. I'm Michaela. Welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'll be taking you through today's workout. If you're joining us for the first time, we'll be doing um, some exercises, both standing in on the floor that will be that will incorporate balance work, some strength as well. Um, so if it's your first time doing it, please feel, feel, uh, reach out to your physician or uh, physical therapist to ask if this class is for you, all right? Just start with a quick warm up. Go ahead and nice and relax. We're gonna start with some neck rolls, all right? So you go ahead and roll your neck right, your head around in a circle. And stay nice and loose, nice and relaxed. Really ease into this workout. Go around in circles. We'll do two more, all right? And then we'll switch sides, so all directions actually. And last one. And now switch direction. So now you go the other way. Around nice and gentle. We'll do two more. And final one. Very nice. Next up, we do arm circles. So arms up to the side. Have your feet beyond your shoulder width. And you're going to rotate these arms in a circle. We'll start by going forward, all right? I want nice and controlled. You can start small. You can gradually get bigger if you'd like as it goes on. I want your chest up, belly button in, for a pelvic tilt, engaging that core. And five, four, three, two, and switch directions. Now go backwards. Same thing, start small, gradually get bigger, as long as you have nice controlled movements, all right? Keep these arms kind of as straight as you can. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, we're gonna add in arm swings, all right? In and out. Think of it either as yourself a hug or like scissors. You're kind of rotating these arms one over another. Opening up and out, all right? If you wanna add in some lower body um, or up as well, you can do some nice step behind with it. A little bit of a slight little lunge. Step behind, making sure that as you're doing, you're protecting that front knee and you're not letting it drift beyond that toe, but you're kind of stepping back and single hips down instead of forward. All right. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and march in place. You're going to lift up opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep your chest up. Again, that pelvic tilt. Keep that belly button in. Everything up right. Bring these knees up. And five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, have your feet a little bit wider, just beyond your shoulder. You're gonna have your arms out to the side. You're gonna rotate side to side, all right? Nice and loose, nice and relaxed. All right, you're even adding a little bit of hip movement too as you do it from side to side. Just twist back and forth. Almost like those, those, once you go to like a car wash or car dealership, you see those tubes outside of them, it's kind of like floating back to the side. And five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Next up, we'll do some heel to toe raises. So you can do this next to a countertop or wall if you want a little bit of support while you do it. If you want um, to have some sort of balance next to you, help out with it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up on your toes and then back on your heels, all right? As you do it, just nice soft knees, keep this belly button in, all right? You wanna keep a fairly straight position with your body. So that way you don't wanna either lean too far forward or lean too far back. As you do this, that will throw off your balance. So you wanna maintain fairly straight, nice soft knees, this belly button in as you go up on your heels and back on your toes, all right? And you'll go back and forth as you do it. Nice and controlled, all right? You can see my feet a little better now. Up on your toes, back on your heels, all right? Nice and controlled, soft knees, all right? Again, if you want to, if you want to kind of have a wall next to you, feel free to kind of do it next to it Aid a little bit of balance there, give you a little bit of confidence as you do it. Balance work, you generally 
do it without an aid, but it's always good to have something near you as you do it, or even as you're learning it, you can even have that there to kind of give you a little bit of confidence, all right? And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, what we're going to do, get into our balance stance, all right? So there's four different balance stances you can do. You can have your feet together. You can have one foot in front of the other. You can go heel to toe, or you can go single leg, all right? So pick one of the four, and you're going to get into your balance stance, and you're going to hold it, all right? And build up for the challenge. We're going to add in some head turns side to side, make it a little bit difficult. Add a little bit of challenge as you do it, all right? As you do your balance, say if you're doing a balance stance and you're completely still, it's not testing you at all, I want you to do the one that up, all right? Make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, all right? You don't have to be rocking side to side, but a little bit of a wobble is all right. That means that you're really testing yourself and you're trying to get that balance down. If you did either of the foot in front, heel to toe, or single leg, switch feet. All right, now the other foot will be in front. And here we go. A little bit of a wobble is all right as you do it. And generally, it's good also to do it next to something as well. If you're just standing on two feet and you're perfectly still, it's not really testing your balance. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, your single leg, we're going to do draw a letter. So we're doing C this week. So you have on one leg. You can start whichever leg you want. I'm starting my right leg up. Totally up to you. Leg that's cleansed on the floor, nice and soft. And you're going to draw the letter C. All right, make a big kind of half circle. And C as you do it. All right, with that leg that's in the air. So C, make that nice big letter. All right, uppercase, lowercase, they're both the same, doesn't really matter. So the leg that's planted, and keep this nice and soft as you do it. Again, soft knees will be the key to this, to balance. Are right? you keeping your belly button in? And this leg is planted, it's really gonna be kind of holding you up as you kind of shift your weight as you draw this C, all right? A few ways you can do it. You can either do a C and you can kind of reset yourself, do another C, or if you'd like, you can kind of keep on drawing continuous Cs, all right? Test your balance a little bit more. We're going to go back and forth, do a few st starting in the position, feet together, do a C, go back, and then as you get better, you can kind of add just a foot off the floor the whole time, all right? Again, if you want something next to you, you could have that wall as you draw that C, all right? And we'll do two more and then switch legs. All right, go ahead and shake out a little bit, then a little bit of rest, and now we'll switch legs, all right? So now the other leg will be planted. And you'll draw that C, all right, with this leg. And same thing, soft knee, belly button in, keeping this chest up. If you want something next to you, help your balance, feel free. And you can keep on drawing this C. You can even kind of draw it the other way too, backwards C. You know which way you're facing, just so that you kind of get the same movement from both legs, um, like a mirror image almost, all right? Keep going in circles. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Go ahead, shake out your legs. Next up, you'll need a set of dumbbells. All right. We're going to do alternating hammer curls. All right. So go ahead and grab dumbbells. These ones you can do anywhere from three pounds up to 10 pounds, whatever you're comfortable with. All right. Get a nice base. So have your, your legs. You have them shoulder width and just beyond it. Elbows will be by your side, belly button in, soft knees. We're going to go alternating back and forth. So you'll bring one arm up to that shoulder, back down, and then the other arm. All right. As you're doing it, elbows stay still. It's only the weight that moves with your forearm. Everything else is nice and still. All right. Keep this belly button in, soft knees, alternating back and forth. All right. Don't have dumbbells, feel free to use kind of even old. You can use soup cans, you can use water bottles, laundry detergent, you can just do the motion. Um, whatever you feel, you kind of add a little bit of resistance, all right? 
and you're alternating back and forth, all right? Take your time with it. You've got a slight pause on top of the bottom. That way you're not swinging the weight with momentum, but you're really kind of using your muscle to move this weight, all right? We'll go three more each. So here's three. And two. And final one. Perfect. Place these weights off to the side. Next up, we're going to be doing um, some side steps. So let me move this a little more so you I don't know, can't tell if you can see my feet or not. Move this down a little bit. So what we'll do, you can do this a few different ways. I can modify it if needed. You're going to start, feet together, and you're going to step side to side, all right? So you can either do step side, put your feet together, or just a small step. You can kind of have a wider base, all right? So the closer you get these feet together, the more challenging it will be for the balance. Or you can do a small step and kind of have your feet with a wider base as you land, all right? So bring feet closer together, more challenging. Or you can even do step to the side, one leg up. Step to the side, one leg up. All right, as you land, you want that soft knee. So you can go side to side. Bring this leg that just stepped, you can bring it up once you land on the other side, the inside leg, all right? Or the last and final challenging way you can do is a kind of hop side to side. So you can hop to the side, land, you can either reset, feet together, hop to the other side, reset. Make sure you're landing on your forefoot on nice soft knees. So you can either land, put both feet down, or if you're up for the biggest challenge, you can step to the side, land on one foot, back to the other side, all right, back and forth. You can do a combination of both. You can even start with just kind of side steps. And then if you want to kind of move into hop side to side, feel free to do that as well, all right? You know, side to side, getting really in your forefoot. Soft knees are very important for this landing, for this impact. All right, it's only if you're comfortable hopping side to side. If not, you can do a step side to side, all right? Kind of back and forth. All right, you can even add the one leg. Doesn't need to be a very big step. You need to be nice and small. I have long legs, so my steps are pretty big. You don't feel like you have to really step out to the side, all right? Or again, you can add a hop, side to side, a little bit of pep in your step, or single leg hop, side to side, all right? We'll go for 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, we're gonna do a hip flexor stretch. So this one you can do, hold on to something in front of you or something next to you. Front leg, you'll have it slightly bent. Back leg will be straight, but everything facing forward. You're gonna kind of lean forward into this front leg. You'll feel a stretch in the leg that is straight, all right? So you can have your foot's flat, you might even feel a calf stretch as well. And you'll kind of lean forward into these hips and you'll feel a stretch in the foot that's, the, the leg that's straight right in the front of your leg, all right? And if you can't feel it, you might have to widen your base a little bit. And as you do it, I don't want you to lean too forward where this knee goes beyond that toe. So if you lean forward to that point, and you don't feel it, that's when you would widen your base a little bit, all right? And you'll hold it. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, ease out of that stretch. Other leg, so now it's switch legs in front. Again, front one will be slightly bent, back one straight. And kind of lean into this front one, chest up. Everything facing forward. You can hold on to something next to you or in front of you to kind of help you guide you forward. Again, if you're going forward, you don't feel it. Widen your base a little bit, all right? And you'll hold it, all right? And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next up we're going to do is a squat to a calf raise. So you have your feet just on your shoulder width. You have your toes pointing either straight, you have them slightly out of the side. Going to do a squat, so you're going to squat, Stand up, 
and then go up on your toes, back down, all right? As you do it, focus on each individual movement within the exercise. So you'll squat first, stand all the way up, go into a calf raise, come down, and squat again, all right? You don't have to go down to parallel when you squat, even a small quarter squat does a job nicely, so don't feel like you have to go all the way down. Instead, go as far as your range of motion will allow you, all right? And here we go. So again, squat down, come all the way up, up on your toes, back down. And if you want to do it, hold on to something in front of you as you squat and go up, go three, or something next to you, up to you, all right? As you squat, keep this chest up, and you're sinking these hips back. You're going to sit in a chair, all right? You want to make sure that these knees are protect them, so you're sitting straight back, so that these knees don't drift forward beyond those toes, all right? And squat down, then all the way up, and up on your toes, all right? We'll do two more. And two. And final one. Very nice. Our last exercise will be a quick stretch. So you can widen your base. You can have just be on your shoulder width, just a little bit to the side. You can do it one of two ways, right? We'll do a side stretch. So you've got your hand in your hips. You can kind of lean to the side, or you can kind of have your hand up over your head. You can lean to the side, or you'll feel it on the side that's with your hand up. So you can have your hand up kind of near your head, or you can even have your hands on your hips going to your side, all right? And nice soft knees with this too. You can kind of reach down your leg, you can keep your arm here. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch sides, all right? So now reach the other side or hands on hips to the other side, all right? And five, four, three, two, and one. Our final exercise will be on the floor. Um, you won't need any dumbbells, but you might need a resistance band if you would like to add a resistance to it. You don't need one. Go to the floor, so you can go on bed, Floor is more comfortable for you. Feel free to grab a pillow if you'd like back on your neck as we finish off these exercises, all right? So take a quick water break and we'll be here after a minute or so rest, all right? As everybody's finding their way down on the floor, coming back from the water break, I'll be able to explain the first exercise, all right? So you're going to be on your side. You can pick either side. There's a bad actual switch. If you have a resistance band, we're doing clamshells. So if you want to use one, feel free. You don't have to use one, all right? If you do, you're going to have it just above your knees, all right? You're going to bring it up from your feet, just above your knees, uh, about an inch or so, all right? You'll be on your side. Put a pillow on your neck or your arm if you'd like. What you're going to do keeping these hips stacked. You're gonna raise this leg up and back down, all right? So hips stay over each other, your feet stay together. This top leg moves up and back down, all right? Nice and controlled in the movement. And here we go, up and down. All right, you wanna stay everything nice so that way you're not opening up. So you don't wanna go here and roll over. Instead, you're staying nice, so line up over each other, all right? And nice controlled movements, all right? We'll 
we'll do three more and switch. So three, two, and final one. Perfect. Next up, we'll switch sides. So rotate onto your other side for clamshells, all right? Again. And here we go. Get stacked over each other, feet together, lifting this top leg up and back down. You can have your arm kind of rest in front of you. You can have it kind of on you, your side, wherever's most comfortable for you, all right? Raising up and back down, nice and controlled. Again, if you want to add a slight pause, the top and the bottom, that way to prevent yourself from kind of swinging up and down, that will help you remain, keep this nice and controlled as you do it. We'll do three more in three, two, and final one. Perfect. Next up, you're going to onto your back. And what you're going to be doing, you're going to have your legs bent at a 90 degree angle, arms by your side. You're going to lower one leg down, bring it back up, and alternate. All right. So when you do this, you don't have to go all the way down the floor. You can extend your legs out as far as is comfortable for you. So even a small dip here, go as far as you can, all right? You want to do a pelvic tilt, especially if you low back pain. So you shift these hips towards the floor, decreasing the space between your back and the floor to protect your low back and also give you a little more core work as you do this, all right? So again, your knees will be bent. You extend them down to the floor and back up, all right? And you alternate back and forth with this. All right, you go from one to the other. Alternating nice control movements as you do it. You have your arms kind of by your side, all right? Help you plant. You shouldn't have to push down on them to keep you steady, but keep them right there. We'll do two more each. And final one. Very nice. While staying on your back, you have your feet together. You can have your arms kind of out to your side by your shoulders. Do some lower trunk rotation. So you're going to drop, keep, drop these knees down to the floor while keeping your upper body on the planted on the floor. You're going to rotate them back over to the other side. All right. So again, keeping your kind of upper body still. You're rotating these back and forth. So your hips and your legs kind of go down the opposite side. And then you rotate to the other, right? Now, nice and controlled. Each rep should take a few seconds. Don't feel like you have to rush through this one. You're nice and controlled. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, our final stretch we'll finish with. You're going to go ahead and take your leg. You're going to put your heel, uh, your ankle, sorry, your ankle onto your opposite leg. What you're going to do is kind of push this leg away from you, all right? So the leg that's up, kind of at like that 90 degree mark, you're going to push it away and you'll feel stretch in your leg, all right? The, the leg that's up. So again, Ankle on opposite leg and push it away. You have a nice gentle push, but I don't even need to push it very far, depending on how tight or flexible you are. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch sides. Same thing. So have your ankle on top of your opposite leg. Hand onto that leg and your gentle push away. And five, four, three, two, and one. And that concludes Strong and Balance for the day. Thank you, everybody, for joining.